we want people to eat uh, vegan. You know what a vegan is? Do you know what this is? Yeah, slaughtering. Slaughtering animals, yeah. yeah. Is this gas chamber? Oh, I'm this a vegetarian. is. You're, you're vegetarian. Oh. Is there anything to do with dairy on here? So you it just. Does. I don't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you still consume dairy and eggs? I hardly consume eggs. So you, you oh, consume okay. milk from the cow? No. Only, only goat because India doesn't have eggs. But no still, it's, uh, it's. What animals do you eat in um, India? Cow. Don't eat chicken. no, chickens. Only chicken. Only chicken. No beef over there. No beef, no they export beef. the beef. Beef is not allowed. Like. Beef and pork is not allowed in India. It's considered a sin. Cow is considered holy in India. Cows considered holy in India. So uh, cows' urine That's, is considered. Isn't that bizarre that they're considered holy, but they send them all off to be murdered after they can't produce milk? Oh really? Uh, we didn't know this. The dairy industry, when they can't produce milk, they they send off the cows yeah. to be killed. So they export all the beef from India. India is one of the biggest exporters of beef and leather because of the dairy industry there. So they kill them really young. They cannot produce milk. Is that the, the, reason? The, yeah, the males are like a waste product in the milk industry. They just they just oh, useless. Male, male males. Males. Females every year they're forcefully impregnated and have their calves taken away to keep the milk production flowing. Where is this? This here is Australian, but uh, where are you from? From Scotland. Scotland, okay, process is the same. Do you know what a vegan is? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, Jack. I, 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 it's like I, pure vegetarian, no animal, no, dairy, no, dairy. No, yeah. no animal products. Yeah, no I was vegan products, for yes. two months in India. Oh, really? And then I got back into it because I didn't find any option then. I, yeah, just, India, I it's gave really up, I gave up. To, uh, find out no. If you even get it, it's like freaking expensive. What do you need milk for? Cereal? Do you eat lots of cereal? No, no, no. Tea? Uh, you can't get soy milk in India? Yeah, no, we, we, soy milk is not good for men. Like, I've, I've heard wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You're not a man? No, it's not good. Okay, I I don't like you're not a man. I don't, but I don't consume dairy at all. Like, I don't I don't like at all. Do you know dairy but products? You think the hormones in soy milk is bad for men? Not because of the um, like some, estrogen? Heard. Is that yeah. what it is? Estrogen, okay. So when cows are pregnant, they have hormones going through them estrogen, progestion, a pregnant cow actual hormones in plants they have phytoestrogen plant okay. hormones not the same as us okay. cows are mammals we are mammals they have the same hormones like we do so when males drink or females drink cow's the milk. hormones from the cow's milk yeah. i'd be more worried about actual cow hormones than plant estrogen yeah like do you guys have kids do so you have kids One, yeah. yeah yeah nine, nine months pregnancy they're inside their tummy for nine months and then when they're born get taken straight away from them. I've been on a dairy farm when they do it. It's horrible. Um, the cycle repeats for a four to seven years until they can't produce milk anymore, then they all go to the slaughterhouse, use them for their skin, their uh, flesh. This is a macerator. So they're males as well. They don't produce eggs. That's their first day of life. Sometimes they don't actually put them in a macerator, they just put them in a garbage bag and close it shut and suffocate them, or they gas chamber them. But yeah, Scotland's got macerators as well. Have they? England, yeah, UK. Not many activists will go in there and leave cameras in there, but yeah, the egg industry disposes of all the males. But anyway, you guys would agree that it's wrong to harm animals if we don't need to. We don't need to, right? If we don't need to, if to we survive. Can survive like that, and all the species are going, you know, a lot of species are going extinct. Extinct, ten thousand a year. Yeah. Because and, of the actions of one species. And because of climate change, also everything. Climate change, yeah. But like, let's just look at it from the animals, through the animals' eyes. I mean, to have dairy, they have to have their children taken from them because otherwise they would drink the milk. Exactly. So they have to be pregnant. And the children get taken. The boys are killed. They won't produce dairy. Yeah and they will be killed. The cows will be killed when they can't produce milk, just so we can have a splash in our tea. If you think about that, do you think it's justified for that? No, of course not. Yeah. These are gas chambers, they're for pigs. You don't eat pigs, but cows usually, they shoot them in the head and sl uh, slash their throat open. But yeah, pigs, gas chambers, they put them in a dungeon, a big cage. It's like a big Ferris wheel. They lower them down into gas. 
They thrash and scream and some pigs rip their limbs off because they're trying to escape. She uh, got yeah. irritated because in Europe you because can't I eat find vegetarian food. So I've she, been eating fried, I've been eating uh, bread. Do you have the app called Happy Cow? No. It's called Happy Cow okay. and it shows you where all the vegan places are, right. wherever you are on earth. Okay. It's called Happy Cow. Yeah, so basically the reason we show the public stuff like this is because these industries rely on the consumer to be in business, basically. So we ask people to boycott these industries and go for plant-based alternatives. So what are you trying to do here? Are you trying to make We're people We're trying aware? to persuade the public because without your money, these industries do not exist. They rely on the consumer, drinking the milk, taking the eggs, eating the flesh. So with your, with your money, if you go, I'm going to buy chicken flesh or I'm going to buy vegan food. And if enough people, if we persuade enough people to buy vegan food, slaughterhouses close, dairy industry shuts down, they don't have money. So we rely on demand from the consumer. Yeah, right. And that's all this is, us persuading the public to make more moral choices, yeah. Billions and billions of sentient life um, just being treated like products, exploited and killed used for their bodies and we just think it's completely unnecessary and cruel and it's not consistent it's with the good true. yeah not consistent with the good people most people are like most people are against animal abuse and you know they see animals as someone yeah. most people don't even think I didn't know I didn't know my whole life it's by design they don't show you because they're relying on you to buy their product and that should be shown. That's uh, well, that shouldn't be shown. That shouldn't should, be done. Should be shown. It should be shown to people, yeah. The egg industry should put a commercial up, an advertisement. <laughs> Activists um, went in against um, the law and left cameras in there to bring this footage out. Yeah. Look at that. They're, they're searing off their beaks with a hot iron because they can peck each other in confinement. So um, they sear their beaks off. They're only little babies, first day of life. The females, basically they, they grow them and then they sort of hold them against their will, enslave them and then they lay eggs 300 a year. They usually lay about 12 or 10 to 12, you know, so they're producing more eggs than they, and then natural. When they stop laying eggs, at an efficient rate, they slaughter them for their bodies and we all go along and buy a chicken breast from an egg-laying hen that's been in confinement their whole life, or even if they were in some barn, they are held against their will. They're not exhibiting natural behaviour, they're slaughtered as well, so... I don't know if people seen the whole process, like I used to buy a package of flesh, just pick it up, season it, put it on the grill, eat it with my vegetables and I didn't connect that piece of flesh to an animal, to their life, who they were. No, I um, Do you always buy, I don't know if it, she always buys free range stuff and all Free that. range eggs. Back, yeah, yeah, well, that, that, yeah, what you saw there, yeah. that process happens across the board, free range, organic. Um, Even organic. Free range makes the consumer feel better. It doesn't help animals, oh, yeah. Right. It's a selling point for them. And yeah, they might give them a little bit more space in the shed. Free range hens are still kept in a shed. They all go to the slaughterhouse. All the free range animals go to the slaughterhouse to be butchered. This is some stuff about the dairy industry. Dairy is scary. Okay. Um, the process there, yeah. is pretty much the same. India has mega dairies, really huge ones. And the process is forcible impregnation. When they get pregnant, they take the calves away. When they don't produce milk, they're killed, slaughtered for their skin and their flesh. Yeah. If they don't slaughter them in India, they export them to be slaughtered. You just don't think that the dairy industry, you know, you don't think the dairy industry is... Yeah, well, like, they use them for their organs, their sex organs. They're, they exploit female reproductive system. They forcibly impregnate them, take their children, kill their children, and they suffer maternal trauma. Uh, you see a dairy cow bellowing out, they, um, they call it pining on the dairy farm. You can hear them all moo, pining out for their young. They, after about the third time, they stop fighting. They just go numb. They've lost their children that many times, they don't expect to ever yeah, yeah. bear their own children. When you think about, like, do you eat, like, the dead birds and... Dead, like, birds that have been killed? Um, not birds. Not, no, not chickens? Yeah, chickens. Yeah, so they're birds. Yeah, birds. Um, when you eat their 
the bird, they suffered and be killed, or even in the last moments they had their throat slashed open. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you're consuming violence, you know, and the peaceful people consuming violence. I don't know if that helps us on a spiritual level. In uh, fact, we, we are not helping the earth also. We the are earth. species to take care of ah. it, and we are not giving anything about yeah. it. You're right. This is more of a smaller slaughterhouse. With the smaller slaughterhouses, they, you know, stun and stab. The bigger ones use a gas chamber for pigs. I think in this area, they wouldn't be using gas chambers, right? Yep. In and Prague, they have a massive gas chamber we were there yesterday. This here is um, some info. This is Challenge 22. If you've got Facebook, you can try a little plant-based vegan challenge um, for 22 days and see how you like it. I mean, animals just suffering to death in their own blood. They're struggling, trying to breathe and we go along. I used to eat bacon sandwiches nearly every morning. Much better for your health to... You always jump in the uh, middle of the vegetarian. Always, when you get older, you know, you yeah, you start thinking about it. Health, yeah, and heart disease is the number one killer of humans and saturated fat and cholesterol found it's in animal products. From Scotland, got a terrible diet, you know? Eggs and dairy and, <laughs> and bacon. And, not our, and our health as well. I mean, it's not good for our health. Though. So, something can, to consider, but... You seem like you're already mostly yeah. there anyway, you understand yeah, it a lot more than... for two months, so... Most human beings, I believe, good people. They're against animal cruelty, against violence. They don't want to see this happening, you know, but we consume it. Our blindfolds are on, we consume it. Yeah. And we pay for it. Yeah, no one knows, yeah. Especially a day day. never thought... I mean, I understand, I know what happens in slaughterhouses and all that, but I never realised dairy. Never realised dairy was like that. It's, it's horrible. It's prolonged suffering. You know, the beef, the beef cattle are killed after two years. The dairy cows suffer maternal trauma for six or seven times having their children taken and then they're killed once they just, there's nothing left of them. They're talking about mothers here. I think, uh, you know, because we've been brought up that way, it takes time for us to, but no. like, but we're trying our, our, our part of, I know. our part of, our part of, uh, I've know. only been vegan five yeah. years. For yeah. 26 years, I was eating all animals. I was conditioned by the yeah. same culture. Yeah. It was just normal for me. Yeah. It took me a little while, but I was determined because it was, it's against my values. Right. This right. is against who I am. I don't want to see this happen to innocent animals. And right. if I, I can avoid it, it makes sense to avoid it. If they were yeah. humans, I wouldn't want to be contributing to that. Yeah. So for me, yeah, of course. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Take Thank care, you. brother. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. No problems. Thanks for, thanks for the discussion. That was a good one, dude.